Hello my dear friends and colleagues, Martin here again and today we draw something like this. Can you see it? Yes. But I think we can do it in a better way. So I do it on the same paper. So this is a 300 gram aquarel paper but you can use nearly any paper because we are working not with uh, so much with, with, with uh, watercolor, more uh, with ink with different pens so that you see how the different pens react with soluble ink with um, waterproof ink buy this if you don't own such a palette knife so for, because this is very important this knife and this is really the only way you can't do it with a ruler or a, a regular knife really this is the the tool of your choice this is easy glued but there are other pads they are really strong glued so and then you get a nice edge okay here we go so sadly it started to rain so i have to draw inside okay we had to go inside here is a little sketch so about the scene we will draw in this video i will not speed it up so we can draw together or you just watching it when you want to draw with me i will use a graphic a fine liner a brush pen this is from the bentle pocket uh, brush pen there's another one and then i have these are water resistant waterproof inks and on the other hand there is the kuretake number 55 and this has uh, a brush on the uh, on the one side and on the other side there is a, a fine liner and these are water soluble so we can do shadings when we delete it with water a brush water and uh, i also show you this is just a normal ink really random inks and they i will delete with water and can also do this uh, gray shadings and then maybe for some uh, color touches i have a red ink in these parallel pens and a greenish uh, ink they're also water soluble and so maybe in the end we do some color points so we start with the fine liner to set up our scene so let's say here is the the ground the horizon line and then we have maybe a tree who is a little bit with a a hang not a hangover but it's hanging on the left on, on the right side so so it's a bit a little bit angled let's say here's the trunk and so you can not two straight lines do some variations let's see this here and then we can add some texture to the roots here then we have some bushes here also just convex and concave curves and in that point we have to decide from which direction the light is coming so let's say it's coming from the upper right side so we can add a texture here for this part in the shadow and these dark parts there are these brushes very handy a really a nice deep black and so we can set up some contrasts 
here and there so that right from the beginning we get a little bit of feeling about the dark parts and the light parts and to see what happens uh, in the rest of the picture as well you can test it here to take this to take a water soluble ink maybe you have another pen mostly they are not waterproof so then you can add some water there and you see there you get the, the shade they also can use it here for the root and the bottom of this trunk so a dry brush okay so for the trunk we add some some more texture you can do it so 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 around around curved lines or what's more realistic is so long or straight not straight but these lines and then we will add shadows as well here you can do it with the brush pen and then here is a darker part because the leaves and the crown of the tree will add the shadow underneath And here in the ground, there is a very dark part. And between. As well here. Let's add some water because when this uh, waterproof ink is still a little bit wet uh, it's also you can also use it for shadows for shading uh, but we leave some white highlights of course okay then we have our trunk here let's do the the crown of the tree with some leaves hanging down so this is not just from imagination but of course it helps when from time to time you go out outside in the fields and draw some trees from nature or maybe you take some photos you also when you take some photos with your smartphone you can easily turn them into black and white so you can study the black and white contrasts the value of the of the different uh, colors when you translate them into a black and white oh, and just a very quick and dirty and uh, don't do it too even yeah it's not round it's often a really 
an uneven shape here and there, down and up. Can also have some uh, like holes where there are no leaves, and you see the the trunk behind here. Some shadow left and right. Let's see as well, maybe here. And then before we add some shadows with ink, I do it first with these lines, with this texture, so that I see if I'm right, if that works. Because when you add the big ink errors, dark errors, you can't correct them. Yeah? They are there then. Here's another branches. Something like that, like that. And of course it's uh, abstract and maybe And so here I can see it will work when it's the darker arrows here underneath the crown and some darker arrows here. And then there is some more. There's some leaves hanging down. Maybe they are, they are a little bit sad. So they are going down like drops, like teardrops, when you like these thoughts. And some smaller bushes down here at the ground. Some grass. And now we will use the, the ink with water. So, I, so nearly every ink is uh, usable, so they are not that much different. Let's do some ink here. You don't need very much because we only want to have some... Uh -huh. We only want to have a uh, gray. Okay, so let's add this light gray. We start with a lighter gray and then we take another a more darker gray. Let's see, you can. So this is in variations and then we also keep some parts paper white. And now we do a darker mixture. Here 
you see because now it's uh, the wet and wet effect and then I want to wait a little bit that these parts will dry you can also but not too much some sprinkles there the splashes okay Ah, and then we have here some shadows So meanwhile this area is uh, drying, we can add a bark bench, let's see, this is about here. And then I left this uh, part uh, uh, white, so without uh, the drawing, because there will sit our person. So maybe the boy or the girl will sit there. So here the legs. as well in the background uh, shading you see this is not very difficult relatively easy and then we have, of course have a shadow on the beneath the park bench So our scene is growing up and here we need some contrast, darker parts. Oh, okay, then I have to do a dark man because here I shouldn't do it here. like a ghost could sit here so let's darken this part here no it's still wet I think I will wait yeah but let's wait and then add some sharper shadows with hard edges And then another tree here, a smaller one. Rank. So this is done very quickly. I think this is an old one. Okay, it's better now. Here a branch with some leaves.
and with our brush pen we add the shadows it's very random how I sit the Starks arrows, how I draw the Starks arrows here and some grey shadings Now it's too even now, what I said before, it's too round, so not that interesting. Well, let's correct, let's fix this. So here we have this dry brush effect. Okay. Yeah, and then can leave it like that, or we add now these uh, persons here. Let's see. This person here is a little bit sad because he is waiting for a long time and maybe only in his imagination his beloved wife because she's gone years ago and there is only the imagination of her because they were always sitting there on this park bench within the younger years His uh, hands on the knees. So here, you see, when you're unsure and you were sitting, the shadow under the face. It's a very old man, very old and lonely man. Yeah, and then maybe she like we said in his imagination his wife So, she's just an idea. Of better times.
Yeah, and then so we have here we have our little story. And of course you can add some uh, trees in the background and maybe there is the view of a, a, to a cityscape here behind it. And, and now you, we can uh, leave this now untouched or we can add some uh, colors just to see how this works. So maybe she's wearing a red dress. And so I have to clean the brush. And maybe this is reaching him and they are connected still together. How lovely. Okay, this for now, hope you like it, maybe you want to draw this scene in another way of course, or in another arrangement, and of course you can send it uh, on my, with direct message in me on uh, Instagram, and I will give you critique if you want, so, okay, but enough for now, see you next time.